welcome back to my youtube channel are you guys doing i hope you're all doing fine in today's video i'm going to be talking about uh, a lady who lives in italy and um, presently she's having some difficulties or challenges encounter in a marriage in a present marriage she used to be a single mom of two then later she fell in love with another man so this man they were dating but she told me even from the beginning of their relationship this man doesn't get along well with the two children that she had in a in a past relationship and then um, she thinks maybe later they will get along with each other with the uh, uh present relationship with the present guy she was dating right now and um she doesn't really care about it the way they were not really getting along well and later on this um man paid a bright price then she later gave birth to two children again with the other new husband so they were all living together as a family of six including the mom the man and the four children two from the uh, ex-husband and two from the present relationship they have really been quarreling fighting concerning the two old children from the uh, ex-husband and the man she said the man is now really finding it difficult to even cope with the children and this has been happening even before the got married before the man paid a bright price she has really been she has really see she saw this that they were not really getting along the man did not like them the man always complained about everything those children do you know even some children they are so so difficult even when you are their father you can see that this child is really difficult so the, this man is not getting along with the children at all he's always he's always screaming calling them names and she said because she's in love with this man she didn't see see those things as uh, bad as as it is now then as time goes on the man started uh, being so so uh, annoying with the children the man is calling them names sometimes he hits them so bad it makes it obvious that he's doing it intentionally because the way he treats them he doesn't treat his own children like that and now the man now said she have to return these children back to their father or their marriage is going to end and the the man the, the so-called husband the ex-husband is paying shy support on these children is taking care of these children and when he took the two children to the ex-husband the ex-husband refused to accept them because the man is working and he cannot uh, take care of the children along with the work he does so the man refused to accept the children then he she brought the children back home and the argument the fight everything continued the way they used to be the man is so is now so so unbearable the way he nagged the way he screamed so bad on those children and now she said the man even now she the man suggested now that if the ex-husband refused to accept the two children that she should hand over the two children to the government you and i know how it work here in europe that whenever even without the even without you uh uh giving your children out to the government when they notice something that the children are not comfortable with you or you are maltreating them they will come and take them away from you compared to the one that you are not you are even the one who said come and take my children i don't want them and now this woman said i want advice what should i do should i give my children to the government because of this man or should i just because she said she loves this man 
she loves this man so much that she cannot even leave think of leaving this man because uh, her first uh, relationship doesn't work out if she hand it up with this man now people would think she's the problem people would think she's the one who doesn't have a good character that is why she's changing from marriage to, uh, one man to another you know she wants to pro she want she want to prove it to people that she's a good woman she doesn't want to be a single mom of four when this man finally leave her so now she's thinking she's even thinking <laughs> this is so ridiculous she's thinking of giving these two two children from the first marriage to the government just because of this man just because this man don't want those children he said this man always complained that i don't want your children to to spoil my child your children uh your children have so much bad character from that i don't want my children to emulate and you know the man make it so so difficult for the woman she make it feel like she's not even the mother of the four children because the man always uh, uh, differentiates between the four kids from the one she had from the uh, 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 previous marriage and all of those things, you know. So it's so difficult for her that she doesn't want, she doesn't, she doesn't know what to do. Now she's thinking if she should give her children out to government. You and I know that this man, there is no man you can rely on 100%. Even compared to the fact that the man is not the first man in your life. You have two children before now you want to give up your children for this man's sake i know you might be in love i said if i were be if i were in a shoe i will never give up my children i will never give out my children to the government just because of this man because even in future you don't have any guarantee you don't have any assurance that this man is going to be with you till the end you don't have any assurance that this man is not going to abandon you even after you've done all of those things just to satisfy him there is no assurance that this man is not going to leave you for another woman in future and that man is not a good man no matter how children are so difficult the moment you are coming into that marriage you should accept that these children are also mine these are one of those things you should consider before jumping into any marriage if you have a failed marriage in the past or a failed relationship that you have already have a child or children and you are planning to settle with another man Please, these are the things you have to consider. Put them into consideration. Just try to observe the way things are going between your so-called present relationship and with the children you have before. If things were not really going well, don't think it will go well later when you settle down. I think the beginning should really matter because when they are getting along, in the beginning, when they get well along well together and you notice there were this harmony between your boyfriend and your children, it's that will really determine how the future will be. When your boyfriend is coming into your life, the beginning, he already creates so much hatred for the kids or for the child you have. And you are thinking that they are going to get along well together in future. It's not going to happen. That hatred will come more when he finally secure you as his wife. Now you are living as a family. That hatred will increase more. They are not going to get along with each other. The mistake that this lady really made was that when she saw that they are not getting along well, she should have, she, she should have end up this relationship. She shouldn't, she should have done that. She shouldn't have even moved on with the marriage. And now she said, I have invested so much in this marriage. I don't want this marriage to end up like this. I don't want this man to leave me. I love him. Even the child support I'm receiving on the two children that are not meant for this man. I've used it to invest with this man. This man has built his house in Africa. This man has used all my children uh, allowance, uh, all my children uh, social benefits. I've used it to support him. Even with the present children we have together, I give him all the money. I don't do anything on my own. I supported him. And now she's thinking about all those investments that those things that she has really put on together in the man's life, she's thinking of letting all those things go. Now she's thinking about giving up the children up to the government because of a man that can leave you tomorrow. Now I said, okay, if you give, if you give these children out to the government, one, the, their father will sue you. It's, this is going to be, you are going to 
this is going to be a court case because you giving these children up to the government and the man did not accept, the man did not sign any paper that give my children up or give them out, that I don't want them. That is, is another case. You are going to have a case with the father of the children you give out. And now, at the end of the day, this so-called man can even end everything with you later. There is no assurance. A man that can be so heartless to a little child of 7 and 10 years old boy. If this man can be so heartless and read and even advise you to give them up to government, and this man know that when you give you when you give up your child to government, there is no way you can claim them back in future. Even if things later go worse between you and this man, this man later cheat you or leave you for another woman, you cannot go to government and say, "Oh, this is the mistake I make years I make years back. I want to have my children back." They will never release those children. So these are the things you should put into consideration before thinking about giving your child up because of a man no man deserves it if this man if you have given this man two beautiful kids after you she, he married you and now just because he has his own children from you he wants you to give up your own children that you have from your ex-husband children that you suffer with for 10 years before you meet this man you are ready to give them up to government children that are now where to do for you to assist you at home to run or to one or two errands for you you want to give them up just because of a man who can even leave you tomorrow it doesn't worth it it does not worth it in any way so guys i bring this topic here today because i need your i need your or uh, your i need your advice i want you to lay your comment down below let her know what she's supposed to do. For me, it doesn't worth it. The marriage should go to hell. If you're giving up your children, will make this man be loyal to you. It doesn't worth it. I feel so bad to see that some man will just uh, make a woman fall in love with them. And at the end of the day, they will attack them where it's going to hurt them the most. It doesn't... I, I feel, I always feel bad about it because to me now, I feel like this man really used this lady. You'll be taking money, so she benefit from these two children held for the past two or three years. You did not complain. When you are so done now that you don't need those money anymore, that you are satisfied with the, with what you've acquired for, for, uh, from those children. Now you want this lady to give up the children to governments. You don't even think about what she's been through before you even meet her. What, how she, been, she, she has suffered a lot to raise those kids. Now you want her to give the children up just for you to be in her life and you are threatening her that if she doesn't give the children up you are going to, you are going to end the relationship. You are not going to continue with the marriage. To me, so be it. Go. And for you thinking that I don't want to be a single mom of four, I don't want the world to judge me. Believe me, if you are living fine with your four children and you are seeing them every day by day, it's better than you giving up your children, your two beautiful children, just for a man to stay in your life. Because this man will go one day. He will go. There is no assurance that he's going to be with you till end or he's going to spend the rest or you guys are going to spend the rest of your life together. There is no assurance. So my dear sis, please, you're going to read comments and maybe you're watching this premiere right now. Read comments. Just think in, uh, at your own time. Think about it. Think, what, think about what you've been through in the past. Think about what these children will be in future, living with you as your own children, than living with the government. There is no, there is no shelter. There is no love. There is nothing they can get from the government compared, compared to the one you're going to give them as, as, as their mother. L mother's love is the best that you can never get somewhere else more than what you, the mother, will offer to them. And to all my returning subscribers, to all my new subscribers, I really appreciate you guys for tuning in to watch my video again i do appreciate you thank you thank you don't forget to comment turn your on your notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video lay your comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye